Hi, I'm Luke Kane. Welcome to Algebra 1. Today we're going to simplify rational expressions. And we're going to do this in five different videos. And each of them corresponds to uh, an objective in Chapter 8, Section 1. Now the first objective is going to be evaluating rational expressions. And we'll do that in this video. And in the next video, we'll look at making rational expressions equal to zero or undefined. So that corresponds to objective two of section 8.1, chapter uh, 8, section 2. And the third video, uh, we're going to write a, a rational expression or rational expressions in lowest terms. In the fourth video, we're going to look at uh, a special case of a rational expression and simplify that. And in the fifth and final version, uh, fifth and final uh, video, we're going to look at equivalent forms of rational expressions. Uh, each of these videos can be between five and eight minutes long, so it shouldn't take too long to get through them. All right, let's start with a, what is the definition of a rational expression. A rational expression is an algebraic expression of the form p over q. Q, the denominator, cannot equal zero because we cannot divide by zero. That that function is not defined in uh, arithmetic. Now this may look familiar because this is the exact same definition we used for a rational number. And a rational number we said uh, was e also equal to p over q where p was an integer and q was an integer. And in fact, uh, although we didn't say it, p and q were prime relative. They had no common, they need not have any common factors. Well, in this case, we're going to talk about rational expression. And a rational expression, p is now this, a polynomial, as is q. And what do I mean by polynomial? It's some algebraic expression, usually with variables in it and a constant. Um, and it looks something like that. We've seen all this before. All right, so let's evaluate a rational expression. All right, now that we've defined a rational expression, let's look at an example and let's evaluate it at various values. All right, so here's our rational expression. The numerator is x squared minus 25. The denominator is x minus 1. Now, according to our definition, the numerator, p, should be polynomial. Well, let's see. Polynomial is going to look like this. So in our case, a to the m, a sub m, is going to equal 1, because this is 1. All right? And m equals 2. So we end up with x to the 2. All right, so rewriting that, that would be 1, and that would be 2. We don't have anything in the middle with a variable, but we do have a constant. Our constant is minus 25. So a sub 0 equals minus 25. So we can fit this into the form, the standard polynomial form. So it is, in fact, a polynomial. All right, let's look at the denominator and, and show that that 2 is a polynomial. All right, because by definition, a rational expression is a polynomial over a polynomial. Well, in this case, our leading coefficient is 1. So bn equals 1. That's this guy over here. That's going to be 1. n is the, uh, po is the highest power, and that's 1. That's because we have another implicit 1 here. All right, so n is 1. Again, we don't have anything in the middle with a variable, but we do have a constant. And our constant in this case is minus 1. So it was easy to fit these two um, uh, polynomials into a standard polynomial form to demonstrate that they are, in fact, polynomials. All right, now let's evaluate them at a couple of different numbers. Let's look at what happens to our rational expression when x equals 4. All right, so that's plug and chug. So when x equals 4, all right, what happens? We get 4 squared minus 25 over 4 minus 1. All right, so 4 squared, that's 16 minus 25 over 4 minus 1, that's 3. 16 minus 25 is minus 9. 
and 3 is still 3. Now this is interesting. We can simplify this fraction, improper though it may be, um, because both of them are factors of 3. So we divide the denominator by 3, we get 1. We divide the numerator by 3, we get minus 3. So that leaves us with minus 3 over 1, and we can simplify that further to simple integer, minus 3. So when we evaluate when x equals minus 4, the rational expression turns out to be minus 3. So let's evaluate this guy when x equals, my, equals 5. All right, when x equals 5, what happens? Well, let's plug in and see what happens. 5 squared minus 25 over 5 minus 1. So we've plugged in for x in both, both places where x uh, exists in our rational expression. 5 squared is 25 minus 25. Well, that's not going to be too hard. 5 minus 1 is 4. 25 minus 25 is 0, the big goose egg, over 4. Well, it doesn't matter what's in the denominator. 0 divided by anything is 0. So we have an interesting phenomenon. When x equals 0, our rational expression goes to z I'm, I'm sorry, when x equals 5, our, when x equals 5, this guy, we end up with this guy. The rational expression goes to 0. So what's our last one? Our last one is what happens when x equals 1. All right, let's see. Again, we do the plug and eventually do the chug. So x equals 1. What happens when x equals 1? Well, we put in a 1. 1 squared minus 25 over 1 minus 1. All right, so that's going to equal 1 minus 25 over 1 minus 1. Oh. 1 minus 1. Let's write it down. 1 minus 24 is... Mi I'm sorry, 1 minus 25. I'm already thinking the answer. 1 minus 25... Oh, gosh. 1 minus 24 is minus... Oh, God, I can't even say it again. Let's try that again. Third time would be a charm. 1 minus 25 is minus 24. All that, and it's going to get obliterated by the fact that 1 minus 1 is 0. Eh, eh, warning, warning, this cannot happen. We cannot divide anything by 0. So this thing is undefined. Can never divide a number by 0. So this is undefined. Another interesting case. When x equals 0, I end up with this thing. I'm sorry, when x equals 1, this thing ends up being undefined. We'll look at this again in just a minute in the next video. Um, and we'll look uh, at a couple of different cases of uh, rational expressions, and we'll show how to make them uh, equal to zero, and we'll show how to make them undefined. So let's ask the question, what do we learn in this video? Okay, in this video, what did we learn? We learned that how to evaluate a rational expression. That's pretty easy. We just plug and chug. We also learned the definition of a um, rational expression. And a rational expression is a ratio of two polynomials. We have a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Next time, we're going to look at how do we make a rational expression equal to zero. And we'll also look at how to make a rational expression undefined. Or, think of it another way, we're going to find out when is a rational expression going to be zero and when is it going to be undefined. Until next time, I'm Luke Kane. Bye for now.